Rascal Fatty Arbuckle was an influential silent film star in the 1920s. Um, obviously, during this time, movies didn't have sound. But Arbuckle was a pretty big deal in Hollywood because he helped create and shape movies, comedy movies specifically. And he came up with a bunch of funny ideas and skits that people, directors, actors, used for their movies as well. Um, in addition to acting, he also produced and directed movies as well. So, his work helped people really fall in love with movies, making them popular at the time, since they were still new and still developing, thus not having any sound. He made, he still managed to make people laugh in the things he did in the movies. So, um, in 1921, he was involved in a scandal surrounding the death of an actress named Virginia Rapp. Um, they were in a hotel in San Francisco at a party, obviously drinking. There were probably drugs. And um, at the party, the actress, she began to feel sick and she said her stomach hurt. So Arbuckle took her to the room, her hotel room, and um, so Maude Delmont said that she witnessed Arbuckle assault her friend Virginia. Um, uh, eventually, her condition worsened and she was taken to the hospital. And where she died a few days later due to some type of inflammation in her abdomen. So um, there were a bunch of different stories going around saying that different things caused her illness. Um, some people say she had a botched abortion. And then um, the abortion was thought to have ruptured her bladder. Um, ultimately, they could not figure out what caused her death. But, um, if we go back to the friend, Maude Delmont, um, who was involved in some scandals herself, she was known for, um, uh, be, be an extortionist. She was also known for prostitution and a blackmail, being a blackmailer as well. So the whole accusations of Arbuckle came from what she said she saw. So obviously Arbuckle being a movie star, the media seized upon the scandal, sensual, sensational as a scandal creating a narrative that portrayed Arbuckle as a murderer and eventually led him to be in charge with manslaughter. Um, he had three trials, which were obviously courtroom spectacles, as you can imagine now seeing celebrities in court or being arrested. He was depicted as a villain and people automatically assumed he was responsible for the actress's death. Um, during those trials, they obviously found evidence that came to light that disputed Delmont's initial narrative. There was witness statements that proved that she was lying. Um, there was never any assault that occurred. And then um, eventually they found out that Virginia Rapp had a history of health issues. So in the end, Arbuckle was acquitted of all charges and a jury issue, issued a formal statement apologizing him for what they had put him through. But as you can imagine, 
with everything going on with him being a celebrity that it was too little too late so um he had already been blacklisted many of the movies that he did were thrown out um which makes it hard for us to find films of him during these days as well so um this was kind of he was obviously the scapegoat but um the scandal in addition to changing his career and so rascal arbuckle scandal um could pretty much be seen as a psychological horror due to the elements of fear and suspense um because of the consequences he faced he there was a um a fall from grace where he had a pretty rapid descend from being a successful and loved comedian to basically being a pariah in the entertainment industry um it impacted his personal and his professional life he basically lost everything um then you have he became the scapegoat and he was subjected to mass public shaming um and moral outrage um that which is popular in other horror film themes we've seen um which brings me to my last point that the scandal is most comparable to the horror we've seen in Stephen King's characters, Carrie and Jack. So you have Arbuckle, who has this sudden dramatic fall from grace, um, publicly scorned and his career is ruined because of the media scrutiny and the judge public judgment um obviously the psychological distress he experienced was then you have carrie whose horror aspect revolves around her telekinetic abilities and the basically the consequences she faced from the intense bullying and mistreatment um which also dwells into psychological trauma and then you have Jack in The Shining. His horror aspect centered around the descent into madness. Um, his story explores the isolation and psychological trauma, which basically could have became our buckle had he not had the opportunity to be acquitted of those charges. But also have all three, Fatty Arbuckle, Carrie, and Jack, um, base, I want to say they were victims to the American dream. Um, Arbuckles, although he did achieve the American dream, that dream was ripped apart. It shattered. It was taken from him due to those external forces and being accused of something he didn't do. That shows how vulnerable or fragile the American dream is. And then you have Carrie, whose American dream evolved revolved around um society's expectations and the events kind of portray the influence of power and society's failure to i want to say protect some members the way carrie is treated is 
similar to the way Arbuckle is treated once that story came out into the media. He was that bully kid that we saw on Carrie. And then finally, you have Jack in The Shining, whose um, pursuit of the American dream with him leads to his descent into madness. Um, it just shows how people get so wrapped up on that American dream that the pursuit could lead down a destructive path path ultimately destroying um that dream so basically um Arbuckle, Carrie and Jack all experience elements of horror and navigate while navigating the concept of the American dream although they do navigate it in different ways they all have the portray of vulnerable narrative and we see the darkness that accompanies this pursuit of the American dream. The horror lies in the consequences they face and the challenges they face that affect their mental well-being and challenges to their mental well-being while altogether having their dreams shattered 